you guys welcome back to the channel and today is the reaction to the Betfred Cup final that we did lose unfortunately but it was it was disappointing after the game but we need to take the positive about this we dominated Celtic we dominated the full game we just couldn't put it in the net and there's one thing that we any other day We'd have put that ball in the fucking net. It just, cause it was that day, it just wouldn't have gone for us. And see, to be honest, I have to tip my hat, hat off uh, to Fraser Foster. What a performance that guy had. Ryan Jack showed that he saved. The Morelos saved. The, the, two, like, the two proper Morelos chances he saved. And, oh. If, if Celtic did not, if Celtic had Craig Gordon, we'd have won that game. By far, Craig Gordon would not have saved Ryan Jack's shot and he wouldn't have saved the two Morelosians. Fraser Foster is obviously a good keeper. Um, and it was mad because... <laughs> I just can't tell you how mad it was. Right. So let's start with... Well, I don't even know what to talk about. We dominate for the majority of the game. Celtic score. It's offside. Right? The linesman's clearly not doing his job right. Because I don't understand how the linesman cannot see his offside. His foot is about what? I don't know how. I, I don't I do not do measurements, so I don't know how much it's offside. But you can clearly see it is offside. Right? And Celtic fans that say they deserve that win, you're lying through your teeth. Because you don't deserve nothing. We deserved to win that game, but we just couldn't have put the ball in the net. See if we were playing any other team that didn't have Fraser Foster in the net, it'd have been 9-0. But no, Fraser Foster, I can't even share it bad because Fraser Foster was their best player by far. He kept them in it. He won them the game because if he didn't make that Ryan Jack save, if he didn't save Morelos' chances, um, or the other Yins, then they wouldn't have been in this game. It would have been 3-4-0 before the second half. Right? If that was could have gone the next, boy, the game would have been done and dusted. But Fraser Foster is a good goalkeeper. You saw his save against Lazio. You seen his save against uh, us yesterday. It was mad. Um, but we can beat him. And it's just... It was just on that day. It was near the day. Uh, we played absolutely amazing. We just couldn't score, right? Let's take positive this. We, we we gave our players left everything out in that pitch, and I couldn't be any more proud of them because that's the one thing I wanted. I said to them, if we are going to lose the final, give your all and leave it out in the pitch, and then we can come back and be proud. Might have lost, might be disappointed, but then we go on Thursday and we 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 smash young boys, and then we get into round of thirty two of the Europa League and now my heads are all high again, right? Because it, yes, it's disappointing, but we need to take the positive. We dominated Celtic. I think that's the first time we've dominated Celtic that's no, when we're not being at Ibrox. It's the first time I've dominated them, especially for a long period of the time. Um, but also we've got the old form at the end of the year, which I am hella confident going into now. We play like that and just be able to score. We will be good because if if we can just get consistent and score main often against Celtic and take all our chances or maybe no all our chances but every chance we can that it's a proper chance take it yeah. but um, we first days now want. A massive game. It was a massive game even if we did win the Betfair Cup. But now that we've lost it, our players' heads will be dropped. And as Gerard said, he will pick his players up. Right? And a lot of Celtic fans are laughing at Ryan Jack crying, right? But that just shows your passion, right? That's passion for his club, right? And... I mean, it's funny because they say that. But the, amount, the, the hundreds of wins that they're... Their their club touched up. The amount of Wayne's lives they've ruined, 
and they're laughing at one of us for crying after losing a final that we should have won, but also goal losses it, right? We didn't score fair enough. But if you if that offside if that was given us offside, the game would have been completely different. Because it would still be 0 0 and we would still be dominating. Even when you scored, you have a wee, what, about two, three minutes of domination. And then we dominated again. We just couldn't put the ball in the net. Right? And we we go again, right? That's one thing, right? See, if we played absolute shit, I'd be shit myself for Thursday. But I am actually so confident for Thursday. I feel we're going to win. Not even a draw. We need a draw to go through, but I feel we are going to win. Because normally after a loss, you're like, oh, no. Our players gave everything out in that pitch. Tab, he made that stupid mistake giving the pen to Morelos, but there was things saying that Gerard told him to give it to Morelos. But I don't know, it was just stupid mistakes. Even if Gerard did tell him, Tab should have said, I'm the penalty taker, I'm taking it. Who gives a fuck? Gerard will not care if you scored that. There's a possibility you might miss, but even if you did miss it, at least you're taking it, you are the penalty taker. Morelos has not had a penalty since being here. Why? It's the biggest stage, it's a final, a big stage. And he bought it, no bottle, I'm not saying he bottled it, but he shot it to take it and he's gave it to Morelos. And it's annoying, because uh, Tavera went down the middle, Foster dived. There's a goal, one each. Uh, I just feel sorry for Buffs because... No, uh, because it's like, well, I mean, to, to be honest, Oh, it's never done the score against us, so you can't really say, oh, he's no fit. There's the excuses, there's the excuses coming in. Oh, it's never done no fit, that's why he didn't score. Here's what Minelos is. He had one bad day, right? Oh, 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 oh it's, it's sorry it was against Celtic, but he had one bad day, and now I can to Celtic fans, he's shy. Right? Alright, it seems that every old family can't score against him. He scores against the likes of Porto. Bigger teams than Celtic. Celtic can only dream of being the size of Porto and winning Champions League like Porto or being in the Champions League week in uh, every season. Right? Obviously this season they're not in the Champions League because Benfica beat them. Right? Because Benfica is their other top side. And I mean, Benfica Cup, we've lost it. We move on. We, tri- we win. We won our draw Thursday to get into the, uh, the round of 32 and we go back in the league and we get the league, keep on going in the league. Is it, is it this Thursday or is it next Thursday? Wait. No, it's next Thursday. No, it's this Thursday. Ah, it's this Thursday. Cause then how, I don't know, right? I'm going to be confusing then. I'm sure the Young Boys game is, th- th- is this Thursday and then we play Hibs next Friday. But who do we play in between then? Oh, my brain is going woof. I'm more confusing who Harry Hoofter. I think we're playing on Sunday, probably. I don't even know. Right. I'm just I uh, right, but that's all for me today guys. Uh, I will see you Wednesday or something for the prediction video for the next game. See ya and I'm on the GLs.